So when Democrats lost the Senate on Tuesday, it was not because the voters want less gridlock. At least that's according to Rush Limbaugh. Here's what he said. It is rare that a political party running for office in a midterm election, not standing for anything, ends up with a mandate. And they have one, and it is the biggest and perhaps the most important mandate a political party has had in the recent era. And it is very simple what that mandate is. It is to stop Barack Obama. Hmm. Joined now by Lars Larson, syndicated radio talk show host with Alpha Media Networks, and Leslie Marshall, syndicated radio talk show host and Fox News contributor. Both of them are very syndicated. Good to have you here. <laughs> Good welcome. Thanks. Good morning. So, Lars, let me start with you. Is, sure. is Rush right? Because th this is largely a debate that's going to take, uh, take place on the Republican side of the fence. Well, I think Rush is right from this standpoint. Uh, the voters are unhappy with the president. They're also unhappy with the Congress because they see gridlock there. But the gridlock is not coming from the Republicans. There have been 300 bills passed by the House of Representatives. They can't go to the Senate because Harry Reid won't let them go through and even be voted on because he knows that many, many of them would earn a majority in the Senate and then land up on President Obama's desk. And the fact is that Rush is right when he says that it is to stop the policies of the president because that's what's made him unpopular. It's why it's what made him so toxic that he couldn't really show up to support Democrats who are running for re-election or for election on yeah. Tuesday night because uh, his policies are so unpopular. But here's what the other side is going to say. And I mean, the other side of the Republican Party. And I want Leslie to respond to this, you know, that nothing gets done. I, I mean, this is something that you hear people say all the time. They're tired of, of nothing getting done. They do want to see some compromise. So if Republicans do block, block, block and stop, stop, stop everything they can, uh, you know, are voters going to look at them? Will, will it be turned back on them in the 2016 election as having been the party of no? Um, Martha, you read my mind because that's what I was thinking. The party of no has an opportunity for two years to be uh, the party of yes. Also, what we're seeing is a pattern. Uh, when you look at, uh, you know, three presidencies where you have Democrat and Republican with two terms, around the six-year mark, it would seem that the American people get tired and throw all the bums out, quite frankly, whether Democrats or Republicans. So uh, Americans are becoming, I think, uh, much quicker to demanding action and uh, wanting change. I agree with Lars on two things. Yes, there they're not happy with the president, clearly. Uh, but I don't think this is uh, the referendum entirely on the president. And, and quite frankly, that makes it easier on voters that didn't come out, on Democrats mm -hmm. that didn't run uh, very good campaigns. You had both sides not running on issues. So I don't think this is really about issues as much as but they want to change. They're happy I mean, things aren't getting done polls, and they're unhappy with this president. I'm sorry to interrupt. It, it, it was clearly about the economy. The economy is the number one issue uh, that people were voting on when they right. went to the polls. And, and more than 70 percent of them... Well, think that the country's headed in the wrong direction where the economy is concerned and that they're leaving a weaker United States of America to the next generation. So I don't, I don't know how anyone can say that, that it wasn't about issues, because it was. Well, Martha, but here's, the issue, here's what the it was. the issue there, Martha, the, go ahead, Martha. I mean, here's here's the problem. When Leslie says just block, block, block. No. In fact, take the Keystone Pipeline. Pass that through. Harry Reid would not let that happen. Force the president's hand. That project should have been Will built five years ago. Will the president sign that is ago. the question. Leslie, you think the president will sign the Keystone Pipeline? We have actually heard coming out of the White House, and not just since this election, that that was an area where Democrats, and especially the president, at the dismay of many uh, Democrats, uh, was opening uh, up to uh, compromise and was looking at that as a possibility because of uh, job creation. Late. But yeah. I, lies, lies. I want to speak to the economy. Uh, the facts are the market's better. Unemployment is down. The deficit is down. One of the problems my party didn't do is they were trying so hard to distance themselves from this president with a low approval rating that they they didn't tell the American people the merits of uh, policies that the president worked with the Leslie. Democrats and Republicans on that put the economy where we are today, which yeah, is better it, than we were years ago. Yeah, that it, message was I not I think there's there. a big disconnect between Wall Street and yes, the American is. voter uh, in terms of how the, they feel about the U.S. economy. Lars, you want to weigh in the, on that? The economy, the economy still stinks right now, and Leslie knows it. You can't say mm -hmm. that having Wall no. Street on steroids is doing anything for the average person who can't find a job and isn't making the salary that he or she made five years ago. 
Those are you shaking Lars, your head. to say that, to say all of this comes down to the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare policies that were enacted by the president or Democrats is disingenuous. You know that. I mean, we're, when we look at our country historically, economically, it is a roller coaster. It is cyclical. And quite frankly, top economists will say we are on track. This is going to be, and we knew since the recession, a slow build back to where we were and better times ahead. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see that regardless well, the, of who's in the White House, Democrat or Republican. The economy and immigration are going to be front and center. Uh, we're going to talk more about that coming up. Thank you very much, Lars, Leslie. Good to see you Thanks, both. Thanks, Martha. All right,